Hello everyone, welcome to the video series on UFT automation. In this video, we will look at um, a function uh, definition generator. Uh, it's a pretty easy uh, tool to uh, you know kind of generate a function template and start you know coding you know using that function. Uh, let me start uh, you know kind of I mean technically you would not you uh, write functions here you would actually do file new function library and then give it a name function library temp you get the file you can right click and associate to the uh, test if you want to and then let's say here you want to you know add a function you do design a function definition generator and this will kind of you know help you to kind of create a template so that you don't have to remember the a syntax say for example I want to do uh, my magic function that's what you want to call it um, that's the name of the function and you can say whether it's a, a function or a sub and if you want to know the difference you know you can look at the VB videos VB scripting videos that will explain you and go in detail about what a function is what a sub is they're all procedures you know function could return a value sub will not return a value that's the difference and then you know you can define the scope if it's a public or private if it's a private only you know it can be called within the script if it's a public you can call it from anywhere so you define the the scope and uh, say you know if you want to pass arguments for this for example let's say uh, uh, my first let's you know let's make a few things a few changes here my magic uh, messenger let's say I'll say magic messenger and I'll say yeah let's uh, pass a few things here name and then we'll say uh, message so it takes two uh, arguments so you can see it generated here and uh, you can do uh, register to test object let us not get into that um, description this is my first function that displays a magic message and um, do OK and you can you know similar to step generator you do have an option here it says you know uh, insert another function uh, so that way when you do it you know it, it continues to you know keep this dialog box open so that you can um, uh, you know, I mean to say you know you can add more uh, functions so let, let's add another function um, my magic messenger two, and this only takes name. See, uh, just little difference, and hit enter, and it's done. So now we have two blank, you know, like templates, right? You have a name, you know exactly what arguments you want to pass, and the to-do item here is add function body here. Uh, so you know you can start, you know, adding stuff here. So you know that's one way, and you could also do something like this. You can say a function. Once you do a function and put hit a space bar, it automatically adds end function. You can do that as well. Now. This does not, you know, uh, give you, you know, the by ref that which you need to, you know, manually type. You need to type anyway, but if you know the syntax, you don't have to go into the function generator. I mean, uh, this fine, you know, function definition generator tool, and then do the whole thing. You can directly once you get a hang of it, you can probably directly add, uh, you know, these function definitions. But it does 
come in handy though say for example I want to add like multiple functions you know maybe like 20 30 functions or maybe 10 10 is fine uh, let's say I want to add um, I want I'll, I'll have I'll, I'll use little standard I'll do fn for all functions I'll say transfers and uh, you know I'll not you know I'll not worry about arguments for now and I'll just use the standard and I do you know add oh sorry um, function or oh, sorry design in there and then I'll do this and I'll say function check balance insert function check x4 insert function check back and balance so now uh, you know this now comes in handy if you want to you know build like 20 30 40 50 functions uh, I mean not that you would do 50 but you know let's say 10 15 I mean just with the name of the function hitting this insert it keeps inserting uh, you know those you know uh, templates in there it'll cr just create a shell for you so that you can go back and define what the function does uh, let's say you know repeatedly you, know, you do it for whatever functions you have as long as you have the name you're done and then just you know you can now go in there and start you know adding your steps just replace that line remove that and start adding you know uh, your steps there so it does come in handy when you try to uh, create multiple functions at the same time but if you're just creating one uh, as I was showing you before the you know best uh, thing is just you know enter a function in there put a space bar you get the shell there I mean to say you know a little syntax you know auto populated then give a name And then you know use uh, you know pass use arguments here if needed. By ref where one you know and then put function definition whatever you know you need to do with this function those VB statements will go here. Well, so that's uh, you know uh, that's all about uh, you know, the function definition generator. Nothing uh, more to it actually. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something about uh, you know EFT I mean more specifically function definition generator and um, you know I will see you in the next video